What's going on everyone? My name is Mark Webster. I am a travel filmmaker and photographer based out of Alberta, Canada. And I know it's been such a long time since I've made any content here on YouTube, um, but I've been really pushing my Instagram and working with brands and building my portfolio really hard over the last sort of six months. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, it's at Mark Webster. Um, I've been posting amazing content. I just signed a deal with an airline and BMW, which is really sweet. But in today's tutorial, I'm gonna do my top Lightroom tips for better and quicker editing. I know there's lots of tutorials, but these are the tips that I use every single day to get better edits. Let's go. Before we get started in this tutorial, I'd like to give a massive thank you to Wondershare DVD Creator for sponsoring this episode. DVD Creator is a powerful tool that can take any video format and burn it to a DVD. So if you're a wedding filmmaker or a photographer who burns slideshows and delivers it to your clients instead of just digital files, um, then this is a perfect program um, for you to include DVDs as part of your package that allows you to charge more as well. So it's super easy with loads of tools um, that really make burning to DVDs not a daunting task. So thank you to DVD Creator for sponsoring this episode. Tip one, when using crop mode and you want to crop your photo from a horizontal to a vertical portrait photo, hit X and that will reverse it, which is perfect for posting to Instagram. Tip two, if you have sensor spots or dust spots or something on your sensor, which is really common with Sony mirrorless cameras, then go to your spot removal tool, hit visualize spots, and then usually you can see some sort of spot if you have anything on your camera or a dirty spot on the front element, and then you can just click remove to get rid of it. Tip three is using the spot selector to adjust your skin tone. So if you go to hue and then click this little circle here, you can actually click on a point and adjust this. So this is really good for Sony cameras as often um, people find that they don't have the best skin tones. So to get a fine tune adjustment, you can click on the skin tone and drop it down to make it a little bit more red or lifted to give it a little bit more yellow hue depending on the light. Tip number four is to actually colorize a brush adjustment. So if you go to your brush adjustment on the top right and then hit the color box, you can actually select a color that you want um, to colorize something. So if you want to change the color of a shirt or a jacket, you can do this all within Lightroom. So select a color like so, and then you can paint it to adjust and colorize that specific part. So it's really good for sunsets or items of clothing that you want to change. Tip number six is a keyboard shortcut to copy and paste your settings. So if I hit shift command C, you can bring up the copy settings, copy whatever settings you want, and then go to a photo that is very similar. And then same thing, shift command and V this time, and then that will copy all the settings and paste them to the new photo. Tip number six is use the camera calibration profile on the top profile section of your basic editor in the develop mode. So by changing this from Adobe Color to Adobe Landscape and flipping through for different modes, is you can actually get a really good baseline of an edit. So this is really common, again, with Sony skin tones, just to get everything a little bit more natural right from the get-go. Now, one of my favorite plugins for Lightroom is actually called the Fader. So if you go download it, it is for free. You can hit File, Plugin Extras, and the Fader, and you can actually adjust the amount of a preset that is applied. So I have my personal presets here. I can go to Overcast, for example, and then you can actually apply more or less than 100%, which is really cool for applying presets quickly and to get that certain level that you want. Number eight is to use the draw straight tool. So if you go into your crop mode and then hit command, a little ruler will pop up and this will allow you to draw a straight line um, exactly where you want your horizon line to be. One of my favorite keyboard shortcuts to use in Lightroom is to hit the backslash button to preview your original photo. My final Lightroom tip is to turn on your overexposed and underexposed preview areas by hitting J on your keyboard. And then what this will do is when you are adjusting your exposure, what will happen is red lines will pop up when you know you're getting overexposed. You can see those coming in. And then likewise, if we go the opposite way for going to our blacks, then blue lines will go show to show any areas that are not receiving enough light. So this is really good to make sure you don't have overblown highlights and underexposed shadows to make sure you have a nice even balanced exposure. So that is my top 10 favorite tips for editing in Lightroom. I really hope you guys found these useful. If you did, please let me know in the DMs. Um, let me know what you think and if you have any that you really like that I didn't share, then please let me know as well.